Welcome back friends. So today we will continue with our uh, FS logic series and we will look into the redirection.xml file configuration. And um, yeah, so let's start. We don't need a big uh, infrastructure to test the FS logic's redirection. Uh, we have everything what we need, but we can only test with, you know, our domain controller and we need one uh, VDA machine because we will not uh, test via login to citrix we will test uh, will rdp that's the same procedure and it doesn't need any extra configuration so we will uh, go to the domain controllers let's start with the uh, redirection.xml configuration and why do we need redirection.xml if you are aware about citrix profiling or any other kind of profiling solution you might know that you need to exclude some uh, data from user profile bubble uh, it could be requirement from the application side it could be requirement from uh, uh, you want to dump out the junk data you don't want to increase the profile size for the user uh, in the environment so that's why we use exclude uh, functionalities uh, it's uh, very easy with the citrix profiling uh, if you use citrix upm uh, you could uh, go to the studio uh, or you can use ADM templates and define the exclusion path. But in Microsoft FS logic solution, we don't do it this way. So we create one redirection.xml file. We already have imported our FS logics ADM template into the GPO Active Directory environment. Uh, in the previous set uh, sessions, we did uh, tested how to configure FS logics. So let's move a little further and do the redaction dot uh, xml uh, part actually so i'm going to log into my domain controller <clears throat> i have already configured it so let's go through with this you what you need to do you need to create one redirection dot xml file first so what i've done i have opened a notepad file and this is how it looks uh, the redirection dot xml file I have already excluded all the common folders. You can definitely look the calculations, uh, go to the Microsoft articles and you will find it more information there. What does these means actually? Mm. I don't want to mirror these folders into when uh, the user logout. So I'm excluding it. So I'm using a copy equal to zero. There are different values. One, two, three, you could use according to the, your requirement and uh, you get more explanation. Uh, in uh, Microsoft articles, uh, it's very easy to just uh, Google uh, FS logics. Uh, I can show you how you do it. <clears throat> uh, I'm already there actually. When you totally want to exclude, just use copy equal to zero. But uh, I think I will find an. Uh, yeah, there are different values actually and uh, there were there is explanation about it what do you uh, what why you use you and one so please go through with this and i think a two we don't use as it said you, you can definitely look what is your requirement and you use it accordingly in my solutions mostly i haven't get a chance to use uh, other values so far but uh, yeah if you see it now right away i i do i use the only zoom setting as a tool which is a uh, best practice referred i found it or uh, the articles uh, i think it's only for zoom i don't have zoom in my environment but uh, you can find it here <clears throat> uh, redirection dot uh, xml uh, templates and uh, you can find many many articles about it how to create it and how to do it i think this will all work yeah this this uh, blog i have been reading it has very good article about it you can go to the stealthpuppy.com i will write uh, my own document about this as well in my blogs uh, soon but uh, I think I'm more focused on making this uh, video series. So let's see how he does. And you can use these, you can read this concept 
uh, it's not much but yeah you can definitely uh, what you need to exclude is based on what you is require actually so there is no standard templates i would say but uh, you customize template according to your need very 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 simple so i won't uh, say that you follow this template or you follow this template for the redaction maximum you you get some templates and understand what it does and you customize it according to your environment that makes your life easy and you have full control on your configurations and you understand it actually so i have created one xml dot file in my environment and uh, here it go uh, it it keeps little information i think you need to re read about microsoft or teams uh, outlook and uh, other applications java and others there are documentations you can find on the vendor sites uh, what to exclude in the roaming profile that makes uh, i do it that way uh, and uh, yeah and uh, i will um, just uh, configure this redaction decimal in the gpo so here is my fs logic gpo click on edit and go to the policies administrative policies as i said i already have fs logic templates in my profile means my active directory environment adm template so and here we have I have defined the path. You don't need to write whole redaction XML file. You can read this what it says actually. So don't do mistake by defining the redirection dot XML file afterwards uh, here. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just leave it like this, mm -hmm. and click OK. There it go. And I have uh, one Windows normal machine 2025 OS running, and um, there is no impact. Uh, I support 2025, so it works. I know it's a completely new OS, but uh, there is no risk of using uh, this uh, OS version in the labs or maybe in the production. Even some some customer has started using it actually. <clears throat> So what it help? It help in decreasing the size of your FS logic container. Otherwise, you will see if you don't they, you have this configuration for the redirection.xml, or maybe in the in the same if you have Citrix UPM, you don't use uh, exclusions. Your profile size will go very big. You know, the only difference is in Citrix UPM, you will have slow log on when you have big profiles. In FS logics, you will have you will not have slow log on. Um, most probably no impact uh, but you will be consuming a lot of space that's in both cases but yeah uh, in case of citrus upm you get impact uh, much with the large profiles but uh, fs logic doesn't give penalty on the base of this so i'm logged in now and um, we see all right i have an uh, what's the size of my profile i don't have much installed so uh, it doesn't show exactly how, how much it dif make differences, but I have seen customer environments or I have done configuration in customer environments where uh, profile was like 1 GB approx or 2 GB or maybe more than uh, 3 GB I've seen. After configuring this redaction type smell, I was able to squeeze it under 1 GB in case of it, it was 3 and more. And even it was uh, three and more, I was able to squeeze under the 200, 300 MB for the customer file size. So if I calculate number of users based, you know, it saves a lot of storage data. So I would uh, say it's a very valuable configuration. We should always configure it. And uh, it's also a requirement with some applications like Office 65, licensing configuration, you need to do <laughs> exclusions and inclusions. Even though if you use Zivanti or any other roaming profile solution, you have to do it this way. You have to do uh, these those exclusions. I mean, so how do I check what has been implemented? Let's see. So this is my profile. I go in here. Uh, uh, I can uh, go to this uh, program data. Uh, yeah, don't forget to do GP updates slash force if you have implemented the configuration because. This has to implement, you know, <laughs> the, uh, otherwise the policy will come, but uh, maybe when you're testing it, it's not reflecting. So you need to do it little 
uh, you know it, what I mean. Uh, we have been doing this command many times. You can read, there are these kind of logs. If you use Office, you can go Office container, read logs for this, but we are into profiling containers, so let's go in here. Let's go. Uh, the time is 4.46. <clears throat> so here the session started uh, but before to this we would have the configuration which is being called actually Do you see this skid says adding exclusion rule from where it is coming, you know? These are coming from the file which we created. Let me show you. Uh huh, here it is. See it now? So this file is very important to understand when you have issue with the logic solutions. Uh, I think in next my session, I will more talk about how you troubleshoot FS logic related issues, more investigations, you know, uh, there are more to come. Uh, that would be maybe the last video uh, from me. Uh, but we have more coming in. Uh, we would be more testing about uh, Citrix products uh, and uh, roaming profile solution in Citrix uh, and uh, Creating redundancy replications, how Citrix have uh, solved this, you know. Uh, but uh, you will see this, these folders get created and then it says add exclusion rules. And these rules are coming from our redirection.xml. So we are already redirecting these folders to my home folder redirection. So why do we need to have it in this? So we need to exclude it. We don't want it to be on the roaming profile, you know. There could be chances that it data get change you know or over return you know there's a risk uh so these are the things uh we do in exclusions uh, uh in the Redux XML files i would say you play with the tools tested these facts your uh, things yourself you know uh you will find it more useful uh there are new con Redux XML configurations available in the market you, you can look into this you can investigate based on application you uh, because Java has, I have seen applications which use Java. We, you don't need all the Java cache and everything. Uh, depends um, on applications to application. But you uh, test it. If it works fine, doesn't affect your application and, and help you in saving the spaces uh, on the storage. Go for it. I would say. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to watch next video. Uh, take care.